Welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be enabling the world partitioner and seeing how to make it work, how it functions. We're going to enable this little window right here which is going to show us how it is loading the objects that we are uh, nearby with and how it unloads those and all that stuff. So yeah, let's get it started. So this world partition thing actually took me quite a couple of minutes to figure out, well, more than a couple of minutes, uh, quite a lot of crashes uh, of Unreal Engine 5 before I figured out how to enable this, because in the documentation they say there's quite a few ways how to enable this, but only one seemed to work for me. Now, uh, by default in the world settings, if we scroll this down, we have the previous uh, world composition, and also there is the new world partition. We technically should be able to enable this right here, but for some reason it just doesn't seem to work and it's not really clickable. Uh, not exactly sure why because in the documentation one of the options, uh, this was one of the options. Now what I found out is that you can go also to the project settings which seem to work for me. If we go under the engine section, scroll till the very bottom of it, here we have the world partition option. Here we can enable this world partition. Now if we click that the world partition has been enabled and also we can change the size of the cells uh, for, for our level. Uh, and then if we close that, well, still nothing seems to work and uh, we need to make ourselves a new map. In this map, I could not... I basically could not enable this, it didn't want to work for me. So what I did was I made a new default level, like this one. Then we can go ahead and save that level. Uh, so save and then let's go ahead and let's just uh, test level it doesn't matter so we save that there we go so now we have the world partition is available also in the world settings now we can see that this world partition is enabled and there is a world partition with all its stuffs uh, already available to us now one thing how we can actually see our world is by going to the window and enabling the world partition window there we go and here are our four cells that are generated by default now whenever we will uh, build our world make it bigger these cells are going to increase and there's going to be even more cells available these are only the four uh, that are generated by default now perhaps you don't have this uh, and it doesn't show you these cells and it's just basically an empty empty location now if that is the case for you which it was for me make sure you go back to your previous level or just restart the engine so I'm going to just simply go back to the default third person map there we go, we are over here, and then I will real quick open up the previous map. There we go. So now, as you can see, we are over here, but uh, by default, you can see there is nothing in the level. Uh, now, this was the same thing with world composition. When you enable your map, only the things in the persistent level are getting loaded and the other th pieces basically are not loaded. Uh, but it's really quickly to load those. So you just drag, select your cells, right click them, and you can load selected cells. And now your level is being loaded. So now real quick, I'm going to make my level quite a bit bigger. And then once I'm done, I'm going to come back and show you a few more things. So there we go. I have placed a bunch of, well, I'm just, I just used one actor, one static mesh, and I placed a bunch of those into the world. And as you can see, I can go outside of my technically outside of the bounds that we can see inside of where our world partitioner. So it doesn't seem to care to update as quick as perhaps we would like to. Also, it only shows me the original floor that we had and it doesn't show any other floors inside of our world partition uh, preview window. So what I'm going to do for that again is save this level. Let's go ahead, let's do that. And once we have done that, as you can see, it is generating and showing this information inside of our world partitioner preview. Also, if we zoom in, we can see every individual instance of our meshes once we get closer to that. Obviously, once we zoom out, uh, they just go away because otherwise, well, we wouldn't be really able to understand anything that's going on over there. 
So there we go, we have that set up. So now at this point we can hit play and start walking around. As you can see, the objects are getting loaded as soon as we get close to them. So there is no longer any need to specify uh, the regions and make those into uh, separate levels. Like everything is getting loaded automatically by itself. Uh, it doesn't load the entire cell itself fully. It just simply selects those objects that are uh, in a specific distance around our character and then it loads those specific objects in. Uh, so that's really cool. We no longer have to bother and set up all that level streaming and world composition stuff. This is a lot quicker and ready to go basically. Now there is one cool command I found on the documentation that we can use to uh, basically see this distance and actors getting loaded kind of. So what we can look for is the vp dot runtime runtime dot toggle uh, draw runtime hash 2d so once we hit enter there we go we can see this little map right here which shows uh, the all the cells and areas and regions all that stuff so the green ones are the ones that are already loaded so those are visible right now so those are the ones that are in our region now the red ones are the ones that are have been loaded but at this point already have been unloaded and uh, well basically they're invisible but they're still kind of there uh, but there also are objects that are not yet fully loaded at all so as you can see i have more instances over there so as soon as i get closer to them they all of them are getting created and spawned and all the ones that are left behind are getting unloaded so this is really cool that i no longer have to specify uh basically those levels and put those levels up i just simply bring the things into the world and it does everything for me now obviously we can probably change the distance of this loading area as well although by default i don't really seem to see a big reason for that as of right now but obviously we are going to dive into that but that's going to be for another tutorial for this one that is going to be it this is just a really quick how to basically get started with this thing guide and then later on we're gonna come back dive even more deeper into this because obviously i personally myself still don't fully uh, understand this thing because there are a couple of glitches and bugs that uh, basically uh, take my time to figure out like by default like how to enable this thing in general so that took me uh, quite quite a few quite a few tries and quite a few engine crashes now I know that a lot of people are complaining about the Unreal Engine 4 crashing often and the Unreal Engine 5 is still an early access build it's not yet fully released it's only gonna get released in 2022 so only next year somewhere we don't even know when uh, so this thing right here personally for me is crashing quite a bit and I think I have crashed it at least 100 times within the last couple of days uh, so yeah be patient with it don't start developing games with this just experiment with this play around with the new features uh, see how you like them see how you can implement those maybe in your future projects or whatever you can prototype some stuff but don't get into releasing games with this because this is way way too early so yeah uh, thank you for watching if you like this type of content make sure to subscribe I'm gonna try to uh, figure out this world composition even further and then make a tutorial on uh, more in-depth features of this thing and also I'm going to be trying to build a huge open world world map uh, on my old crappy graphics card to see how well it can handle and I'm going to try to run that same similar thing on the uh, Unreal Engine 4 and see the comparison just like we did with uh, basically with my previous video so yeah thank you for watching make sure to subscribe leave a like comment uh, join my discord and I see you on the next one